This is a very interesting video and I am sure that you will learn few things from this video. This was a case of a 40 year old man who had post traumatic subluxated cataract almost for last 10 years and my colleague was supposed to operate this case so he called me to check if I can fix the bag because earlier the pupil was not dilating so once iris hooks were put he could see that there was a subluxated bag. So when I checked it, I realized that there is a lot of fibrosis, subcapsular fibrosis and subluxation is present and fibrosis is going till the equator of the lens so I couldn't really salvage the bag here. So I did uh, anterior lensectomy here. PVD seems to be complete because I could complete almost uh, complete vitrectomy there. And then I, w I handed over the case well, to him because he had yeah. planned uh, iris claw IL for this case. Now after one hour, I was called back to the operating room. My colleague said that there is something unusual in this case and he is having difficulty. He is an experienced surgeon, have done a lot of iris claw IOLs. And when I checked this case, I found that on one side it appeared enclaved but not in the center. So I decided that I will try to enclave on the other side. But when I did that, I couldn't feel the claw there. I couldn't judge where I should press to enclave the iris in the, into the claws. And uh, so I investigated further I, uh, to check the claws. On the other side, I realized that there is no claw at the center of the haptic there. And uh, when I retrieved the second haptic, I could see that there was no claw on the other side as well, at least not visible to me. So I had to disenclave this iris claw very carefully from one side I was surprised how it was enclaved into the iris when there was no claw there and this is what had happened on one side there was no claw and other side it was a self-made claw probably with the force he broke the haptic and somehow that part got enclaved but of course it was not stable so I decided to take a new iris claw IOL here and now I want to check if the claws are properly there or not confirm the functioning claws and then it was very easy I could just uh, you know enclave this IOL in just five minutes now do you want to know what happened in that one hour till I was called so here is my colleague after I handed over the case doing the enclavation this was he this was the first enclavation attempt but he did it multiple times because he was having difficulty as he said in enclaving he thought that it's enclaved now and tried to enclave the other side but then there was no IOL visible there. Where was the IOL? The IOL had settled down on the retina as you can see. So he decided to take out this IOL. He put the infusion from Pasplena, three ports. Very skilled surgeon, he could take out this iris claw IOL. And but he again started attempting to enclave this iris claw IOL and in that he damaged the iris as well. So take home messages never take anything for granted. Manufacturing defects are known to occur so always be watchful. Thank you so much.